Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a water pipe. This is a wish from a friend of mine. So I went on AliExpress and I found a few beads here and there and I found this one. I thought it was great for the body of the water pipe so I just first of all painted this one in a silver metal paint. I let them dry completely before I continue with the paint job and I'm using a sky blue for this one. You can use pink or purple or green, whatever you want to, but I'm using the sky blue right here. And I'm kind of dry brushing it over the pattern so the pattern will kind of step out more uh, on this little beautiful bead. Let the paint dry before you continue. I am first of all going to take them off this where I have placed them for drying. And then for one of these I am using an eye pin. Then I am using a bead. I am using one of these jewelry things here and then you want it to be uh, that the hole is small enough that the eye pin is not going through it. Then I found these nice uh, jewelry beads here for the top part. top part and another tiny jewelry bead here for the uh, mouthpiece. So first of all I am using a tiny bit of my super glue popping on this first piece of jewelry and then I place the eye pin through both the pieces and I'm making sure that the eye pin will stay in place. Make sure the glue has a little drying time so everything will stick together and be careful with your fingers that you don't glue them together with something here. I'm just holding it very firm and very nice. And when I am ready I'm just going to glue on the little blue bead that I'm using. Again if you colored your um, water pipe some other color you need some other color of of a bead here. Then I found this nylon cord and this is a two millimeter and I am going to bring the small bead on to this little nylon cord and I have a little candle here so that I can get the fraying from the ribbon here to stop. Just pushing it through the little um, bead here making the end nice and then I am cutting it into seven centimeters length right here and I'm burning both ends from the cut. I don't know if you saw that but I did glue the bead in place so that it will not shift in any time of day. Then I am gluing the other end to the bottom of this little water pipe. I'm just holding it to make sure it will stay in place while the glue is gripping. I then cut the eye pen into a length that I like so that I still have a tiny bit for the last bead to grip on but not more than that. And I glue the last bead or jewelry pieces here on top of the thing just like this and I'm holding it. Try to make it as straight as possible. This can be a little difficult but that will give you a better result. And this is all there is to this water pipe. I had a lot of fun with this one and I hope you will enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Happy crafting!